Hi guys, Tarantula Sam here and welcome to my channel. For this video, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done before, um, which is a dedicated feeding video. And I'm thinking about doing just a little mini feeding series um, of just shorter feeding videos um, where I just showcase a few animals at a time. So uh, this will be the first one of those. And for this video, I'll be feeding uh, either giant mealworms or superworms. Um, and we're going to start with this girl right here. This is my grandma stole a pulcher piece. We got her back in uh, June of 2016. And uh, she was about a three quarter inch sling. So uh, she's grown quite a bit. And uh, she still has uh, quite a bit of growing to do. I understand the species can reach seven inches so they can get quite large. Um, but for her tonight, I have a uh, Superworm, and I've just bought these. I've never fed my spiders superworms, so we'll see uh, what she thinks. Oh, well, that was pretty quick. <laughs> Alrighty, so moving on to the next spider. Okay, so this is the second animal that I will be feeding today. And this is my Brachypelma vagans, the Mexican red rump. Um, I got her in 2016 as well, probably about July of 2016. Um, she hasn't put on quite as much size as the Grandma Stola Pulcher piece, but uh, she was also smaller. She was about a quarter inch sling. She was real tiny. Um, so she has put on quite a bit of size. Um, she's a very aggressive eater and uh, I've enjoyed her quite a bit. For those of you who remember some of my or seen my Petco spiderling videos, uh, I was one of those suckers that was gonna save spiderlings for Petco, and this is uh, one of those uh, slings that I purchased. In fact, it was the first one I purchased, and I really didn't intend on buying a Brachypelma vagans, but I'm really glad I did. I really, really like her. She's an aggressive eater, and uh, I find the velvety legs uh, with kind of that uh, subtle red hairs on the abdomen really uh, beautiful. But I'm going to try feeding her a superworm as well. I think she's big enough to take it out. Yep. Great eater, these vagans. Great eater. All right, so this is the third animal I am going to feed. Um, you may recognize this from a few videos ago. This is my, um, pretty sure it's a male, Lacidora parahibana. And uh, as you can see from the video I was complaining about uh, him wrecking his enclosure, he's even wrecked it more. Um, he's pretty much filled that terracotta pot entirely and uh, dug up the plant and it's just doing whatever he wants with it, which is okay. But I don't know if he's big enough to handle one of those super worms, so I'm just gonna feed him one of these mealworms and uh, he should take it down. He's a great eater. There he goes. They never disappoint the Lacidora parahibanas. They're they're great eaters. In fact, every every animal I've showed you so far has been a great eater, but this one, this one especially. This one. All right. So this is the fourth tarantula I'll be feeding, and this is uh, quickly becoming one of my favorites. I really like this spider. This is the Trina Pelma as you may. If you can sort of see, its blue is starting to come in, and she is now a confirmed female, which I was super excited about, because I understand the males don't really get very colorful. Um, but uh, I'm really excited as she grows uh, to see those uh, deep blues, those kind of metallic blues that she'll develop. And uh, I'll be definitely updating you guys on her. But I just have a mealworm for her as well. She's a, a pretty aggressive eater as well. If I can get it close enough to her. Oh. There she goes. Some people describe their uh, Trina Pelma Sazi Maze as really skittish uh, and a bit hostile, if you will, defensive, rather. But mine is really calm um, so far. And uh, it's been a really fun spider to have. But there she goes. Yep, great eater. Right, and this is my Pteranoculus Miranus. I have two of these. This is my bigger one, and she's also a confirmed female. 
She is generally pretty calm. Uh, the other one, though, is quite feisty. This is my calmer of the two. But I'm going to try and remove the lid really slowly so you can see her before she bolts and see if we can feed her without her getting too startled. She likes to bolt down in the uh, her web tunnels. Alrighty, that was a success. Now let's see if she's hungry. She hasn't eaten a whole lot since her last molt, which was fairly uh, recently. And she needs to be putting on some weight here, so I'm betting that she'll eat pretty good. She's probably still a little too small to feed a super worm, so I'll probably just toss her one of these mealworms. I don't know if I got that close enough to her. Try tossing in another one. These are kind of small. She's usually a pretty good eater. There you go. She'll pick that other one up soon. I might have to crush its head though. I don't want it burrowing down. Oh, she's gonna get it. Maybe she'll get it. At least you get to see her really well. She is just beautiful. She definitely knows it's there, but I don't know if she's just deciding she only wants the one right now. I don't want to disturb her, but I didn't, uh, as gruesome as it sounds, crush its head, so I'm kind of worried it's going to burrow. Well, I think she's content with the one. Of course it happens to be right under her. Oh, well, are you going to get it? can't make up her mind. This short feeding video is going to end up a long feeding video if we watch her too much longer, but she's being quite interesting. It's not too terribly often that I see her all the way out. She's usually down. She's got kind of this L-shaped web tube down under that web mess. That's where she spends most of her time. She's due for a rehouse soon for sure. She put on a lot of size this last molt. Oh, well, I'm going to try and sneak in behind her without upsetting her too much. And getting this thing, because it is burying itself. Yep. Well, at least we got to see her for a little while. Alrighty, so... There was my feeding video for you guys. Let me know how you like these shorter feeding videos. And I'll try and uh, do a few more, and we'll do uh, different some of my different spiders this time. I don't have a huge collection, um, but uh, uh, I've got a, a variety, and uh, we'll slowly work our way through them. Alrighty, um, for those of you who like these kind of videos uh, about spiders and tarantulas and whatnot, I invite you to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.